Hi there, Paul here from Charity Hub. In this video, I want to show you how you can quickly create donations in Charity Hub and track their associated payments. To create a new donation, I can either navigate to the contact and create a new donation from there, or as I am here, I can start from the new donations area. So what I'm gonna do first is click new. And the first thing I need to do once I'm presented with the new donation screen is choose a donation type. Now in Charity Hub, we can have one-off donations, regular donations, pledges, or in-kind donations. In this example though, I'm gonna go with a regular donation. The next thing I need to do is choose a donor. So in this donation, I'm gonna go with Abby. So I start typing Abby in there, and I see it filters down multiple different Abbeys, but let's go with the top one here. If Abby didn't exist in the system, I could always click on new record and start to create a new contact down the side here. Once I've got the donor in there, I then need to set an amount. Let's go with 10 pounds. The date of donation defaults to today's date, but obviously I can override this if I so wish. We then need to choose a payment method. If I click into the search box here, I can see the payment methods Abby already has associated with her. Let's just choose card. But if I did need to create a new payment method, I could click create new payment method, choose the payment method type and enter those details into there and save that back. Since I'm creating a regular donation, I need to set a payment frequency. So let's choose monthly. And at this point, I can save the record. If Abby wants to gift aid her donation, I can click create gift aid declaration at the top and I'll be presented with an overlay screen to allow me to choose some different options here. Abby can choose to either gift aid this individual donation or she can choose to gift aid this donation, any donations she makes in the future and any she's made in the past four years. Let's just leave it as I want to gift aid just this donation for now and we click add gift aid. I can also split this donation across multiple funds if I so wish. To do this, I click into allocation plans and I can start adding new allocation plan lines to this record. Let's click on new allocation plan, choose the fund I want to assign to. So let's go with protect the planet and I want 50% of this donation to go to protect the planet. I also want 50% of this donation to go to save the bees. So what this means is as the actual payments for the donation come in, we'll be able to apportion the payment across those different funds. At this point, I can also add a soft credit if I so wish. So maybe let's say Linda has influenced this donation. I can click on new soft credit. I can find Linda's record in here. And I can click save and close. Now Linda will be soft credited with the value from this donation. Once I'm finished, I can click activate at the top here and I'll be presented with an overview screen which shows me the high level details of this donation and then gives me a bit of a look forward into all the different transactions or payments that are gonna be created against this donation. At this point, I can click confirm and the system will create those transactions for me. That's the donation created. If I click into transactions, I can see all expected transactions associated with this donation for the next 12 months. As time passes, either the system will automatically mark these transactions as paid, or alternatively, I can manually click into a transaction and mark it as paid myself. To do this, I click the pay transaction button at the top here, enter the amount received, just in case it's different to the amount we were expecting, and click confirm. Once that's complete, I'll be able to see that this transaction is now marked as paid and I can see the amount received. I'll also be able to see the transaction breakdown based on the allocation plan that we entered earlier. If I navigate back to the original donation and click into the transactions view, I'll then be able to see that this transaction has now been marked as paid and the data was paid on. Thanks for watching and I hope that has given you a good overview of how easy it is to record your donations in Charity Hub. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us.